Hey guys, what's up? This is Nasudu and you're watching DCS and today we are playing behind and what I want to do today in a hopefully rather short video is to show you how to use um, ripple quantity selection on your rocket pods. We have here a hind with S8 rockets load up and if you want to adjust the amount of rockets that's coming out of the pot when you squeeze and hold the trigger uh, you have to do the following so first of all we need to get weapons ready so we tell Petrich to do the stuff in the front seat and then of course we need to switch the master arm on let's just go a little bit closer here we have here this MG burst switch it's a three-way switch with short, long and medium and when you put it to short and select the rockets you will get for each squeeze four rockets out of the pot so let's shoot them smoke settles and you see we have four rockets that left every pot you cannot select a single pot what you can do is, if you want to be even more conservative, uh, you can choose the sides here with the rocket side switch, uh, right, both and left. So if we put it to right, squeeze the trigger, we have four missiles coming out of the uh, right side. So, what we know now, we have on short, four rockets on each pot. If we put this to medium, we will shoot eight rockets out of each pot. Oh, and we should select the side. Um, so you can see it there, it's uh, four, four and eight, that's together 16, 20 are in, four are left medium shoots eight so and if we now select the other side and select long that will shoot 16 all of them gone okay so here we have another chopper this one is equipped with um, the s5 and it works the same way we have both stations selected put this too long rockets so that will be 16 as we have 32 on each pot we will shoot half a pot on each station and now we know that with these uh, pots you have two squeezes. If you use the S8 rockets with the short burst you will have uh, five squeezes. With the medium um, pot you will have calculation eight and eight is sixteen. Two and a half squeeze. And of course we have two other options for rockets so let's also have a look at them so here we have a chopper that is equipped with s13 rocket pods and if we go to short here we will shoot one on each pot if we go to medium we will shoot two on each pot with the long burst option we will shoot all five of them so the last one in our list is the version with the S24 rockets and that works a little bit different if we select short we will fire one of these one station we should select them and switch master arm on 
So that's short. You shouldn't do that <laughs> on the ground. So I did a quick uh, respawn here and have selected long now and with two rockets on each station what happens now is we don't shoot one we shoot parallel uh, stations so if I squeeze the trigger I will shoot the two inner rockets or the two outer whatever and if we shoot first one rocket with short and survive this and go then to um, long we will empty out the other station before we shoot both <laughs> okay and here's one more thing I would like to show you I have now a chopper with the S8 rocket pods I've selected the long burst and here is what I like to do um, I like to tap the uh, fire button just for a split second and what it does um, these rocket pods uh, a squeeze is not telling the machine to fire all of that salvo it's more like this is yeah squeeze time sensitive so if I just click it once and fast you see I did I selected all pots, but I just shot two of these missiles. If I squeeze it a little bit longer, some more. If I hold it, almost all gone. So that's another way to manage your, your salvo. Alright. I hope this was um, informative and you did get something out of this. At this point I say thank you very much for watching. If you have any other ideas on the unguided Mossads, let us know in the comments down below. Um, consider to like this video and consider to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out any further content. As always, I say take care and bye bye.